What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Jabba Hunter X here, bringing us an episode of Pokemon Emerald Kaizo. With that being said, let's get into today's episode. Alrighty, guys, welcome to Pokemon Emerald Kaizo. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. I know that I am doing pretty, pretty, pretty solid today. Uh, this episode is going to be an interesting one because this entire episode I spent encountering one Pokemon or trying to encounter one Pokemon in particular a female Squirtle and um, yeah uh, let's just say I keep getting the wrong one every time and it's very annoying but um, yeah with that being said I just kind of want to you know you know let you guys know that uh, yeah this is gonna be more of an encounter episode in mo for most of this episode I did use speed up because I was trying to again encounter a female Squirtle and wasn't able to and funny enough it took me after an hour and a half of recording not recording sorry an hour and a half to half of recording an hour and a half after recording this video I end up finding the uh, Squirtle that I was meant to find this episode and capture it and yeah so that was that was a whole ordeal that was a whole thing I was very angry um, we'll say angry is the word of choice there uh, I was frustrated annoyed but you know there's nothing that we can do about it it is what it is it, it, it happened it's it's done and over with now we have the female Squirtle and in our possession now obviously you know obviously you know you, you wouldn't know that unless I was commenting afterwards um, but it's okay so yeah Ooh, how are you guys doing today? Uh, I guess today's gonna be, you know, a prime example of, you know, just chilling, talking, ha having a little bit of a chat, and, um, you know, you know, shooting some shit, I guess you could say, because this episode is quite an interesting one, uh, nonetheless, but, yeah, Pokemon Emerald Kaizo, uh, edition, mm, mm, yeah, it's got, it's got me leaving, uh, leaving with a nice salty taste in my mouth, I, I will say that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, today is Tuesday, uh, February 15th, 2022. It's a beautiful day outside on this beautiful afternoon of uh, recording at, uh, 12, 17 p.m. Uh, or is it, no, it's a.m., right? No, it's, yeah, 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 yeah it's p.m., which is weird because you, you would think that 12 a.m. would be now and 12 p.m. would be later, but no, it's it's backwards actually, because 12 a.m. is the start of the new day, so and then 12 p.m. is the start of the afternoon slash night of that day, which is um, I've always gotten that confused, and I, I don't understand why I got that confused, but I, yeah, I've I've gotten used to it now. Um, hmm, it took me 22 years, to almost 23 years, to get used to that, but um, yeah. So our, our our boy Luke over here. Oh, by the way, I was trying to catch this thing, this Electrix. Uh, this electric and um, yeah I end up killing it so and that was another encounter that I, I really wanted because there's a uh, fishing trainer coming up here that uses all water Pokemon and uh, you know having an electric type on your team for that would be a uh, pretty a1 solid so I, I I end up you know killing this one I was thinking that it can maybe live another scratch I think I get a critical hit here and that's why it died, I think, or something like that. I get like actually no, I didn't get a critical hit. I thought I got a critical hit for some reason, and that's why it, it died. But I guess not. I mean, if it was a crit, then it was def. If it wasn't a crit, it was, and it was dead, and if it was a crit, it was definitely dead. So um, I am trying to find another one so I can capture it and uh, get myself a nice electric type Pokemon for this uh, fisherman trainer that's coming up here, who absolutely owned my other team. Uh, in the previous uh, run that I had, so that was uh, that was something interesting and something new, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm super happy right now. Uh, I mean, happy is relative because I am feeling a little bit anxious um, about certain things, and um, and it's hard to you know talk about certain things when you've already talked about in a, a previous video that you've already recorded that's supposed to come out after this one so it's just like mm, everything's all kind of like bundled up and crazy and unorganized right now and just a lot of shit's happening 
Um, you know, something that I will bring up in this episode that I, I will bring up in a later episode of Gaia and that you'll, you'll see is the upload schedule is going to be four times a week, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah, Sunday, Monday, uh, Wednesday, Friday will be the current upload schedule just due to the fact that it's going to get really hard for me to record videos coming up on this Saturday, uh, the 8th. 19th, the 19th, uh, I will be having a full-time job and living back at the hotel with my family, so audio is going to be quite a bit of a challenge to, uh, you can go ahead and see that I turned on speed up there, it's, it's going to be quite a bit of a challenge to actually get videos recorded and, and done, so that's, I'm also like rushing right now this entire week to really just set in stone, like get myself enough content for at least another month or so just so I can... I can be ready for anything that's thrown at me uh, just in case, God forbid, you know, I, I'm not able to record audio at all at the hotel. That way you still have videos for the next month or so. Um, that way I'm just not going MIA again like I did the night of the fire uh, for two weeks or whatever, or uh, however long I, I went MIA for. I don't, I'm, I don't know exactly. And I'm still kind of like MIA still, and I mean... It is what it is. I did turn off speed up here, speed up so I can turn, uh, so I can actually name the electrolyte because trying to type with uh, speed up is not the most pleasant thing in the world. So I, I, I turn it off and on um, throughout the episode. That if that's okay with you guys, obviously, um, it, it's something that I can't change now. You know, it, it, I, I've already recorded the episode and I've actually recorded several more episodes after this. So it's yeah, it's just something that I can't change, obviously. So. It is, it is going to be, it is what it is, and we're just going to have to kind of stick with it, you know? We're going to have to deal with it. As you can see, now I'm going over to this grass, trying to encounter a Squirtle that I, I need for said, um, uh, said special name that uh, I, I won't really reveal. And you, you'll see it next episode anyway, so... You know, that, that that's actually kind of a good cliffhanger for you guys to kind of come back and see the next episode to see what I did end up naming that Squirtle. Um, see what I did there? YouTuber stuff. YouTuber tactics, I, I swear. Um, I, gotta get, I, gotta get, I gotta get good at creating cliffhangers. That, uh, apparently that's a thing. Um, I mean, you can kind of see it. Uh, I'm just like, I'm just kind of just like learning the ropes and and basically learning everything again and, and that's something that i also have to like you know, I, I, like i said in a previous episode of gaia that i've already recorded is i gotta relearn everything editing pace like youtube pace everything i gotta like basically relearn everything um and and learn new things like again like youtube pace editing youtube videos properly you know pacing youtube videos properly like all that stuff i have to basically learn as I kind of go now in, in, in into the future when I start actually making one-off pieces of content and even like just in general just applying it to my general let's plays as well is something that I, I um, really want to you know you know start learning to do like start learning to actually probably pace YouTube videos but for right now this is what you get <laughs> you know just a straight raw commentary from the heart from the dome which is in my opinion that's what I loved the most about my content um, and unfortunately that, that's got to change if I want to grow and I want to prosper as a content creator I need to get out of that bad habit of showing every little detail um, I, I gotta start like learning to make cuts and when to when to cut and when when is it appropriate not to cut when is it appropriate to cut like what to cut out uh, and, and all that stuff I mean the, I've done I've I've done what I've done for so long and it's really hindered the growth. I mean, clearly, I've grown a beautiful, lovely audience of 460 people who, you know, you know, you could say that. And, I, I mean, if we want to sort of the sky, I'm going to have to actually do things properly and actually provide meaningful, valuable content. And, I, and honestly, looking back at a lot of my old content, I do kind of see... It is very boring. It's very mundane. It's very um, yeah. And there there are points. I'm not gonna lie. There there are points in time like where I really nailed it on the head, and you can see that because if you sort, if you sort on my YouTube channel, my most viewed videos, I have several videos that have 
five plus five plus k views and i think what i need to do is i need to like literally study those videos those top videos of mine see what i did right see what i did wrong and and, and obviously excuse the audio quality because you know i wonder if i had if i had the equipment i had now during the making of those videos those specific videos i wonder if the circumstances would have turned out differently would have would have they gone more viral would have they gone more gone more crazy stuff that i also need to look at is like seo how i titled the video how description like there's a whole thing that i think that people don't like i feel like like you know the people like oh i want to be a youtuber when i grow up i don't think they, they they understand the true amount of work that goes into recording a video planning a video recording a video editing it uploading it titling description tags you know everything that you know goes into the process of making youtube videos and something that i've never done and something that i want to do moving forward is um i was watching a original 151 video and his friend astromania by the way great content creator i love all i love that entire group the united gamer uh, United Gamer, Game Boy Luke, uh, Original 151, Asteroid Mania, uh, King Corfish, amazing YouTubers, absolutely love them to pieces, great content creators. Um, something that really stuck out to me, in I don't remember what video it was. If I if I remember the video, if I remember to put it in the description, I will put it in the description. I remember him saying like he would like upload a video, title it, do all the things, watch it for a few hours change the thumbnail, change the title, and then watch it again for another few hours and do the same thing over and over again until something stuck. Which that was like a surpriser to me. I was like, I've never I've never heard someone doing that. Is that what these bigger YouTubers are doing? Are they you know, like uploading like, like let's say for example Markiplier is uploading a video. He 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 uploads it initially and then title description, all that stuff initially and then watches it for a few hours, and then goes back and looks at the data, and then changes it again, changes the title slightly, and then and, and then watching it another for another uh, another X period of time. And, and and I wonder if that's what a lot of these big creators are doing. And and you know, I think that's actually a really important note because that would really I mean that would just show you that like not everything is perfect. Not everything is gonna be a uh, a one-hit banger, unless if you're Mr. Beast, right? Mr. Beast has literally got the algorithm literally knocked down to a T. He has a formula, he knows what he's doing, he knows how to make titles, descriptions, thumbnails, he knows exactly what he's doing, and, and I mean, to be fair, I mean, I don't knock Mr. Beast, I mean, I look up to him, he's a, he's a great content creator, he's, he, he, he makes top-of-the-line content, and obviously, if you, you know, you gotta, if you look and sort, through from oldest to newest you will see that he, he wasn't popular at the start right his videos weren't hitting at all it, it, like you know obviously every youtuber i mean none of them you know you you as you you know grow and grow and grow over the years you start to you know pick up on little things that you were doing the previous year that you know are bad so you fix them that's something that I've never once done in my entire five years of making YouTube content. Um, that's something I, I credit myself to is what I upload is what I upload. The titles is what it is and the thumbnail is, is what it is and that's it. As you can see, I actually gave up here for a moment to uh, continue making a little bit of progress, at least a little bit of progress into the story here uh, for this episode. And then I ended up coming back any way to, to continue on looking for this stupid freaking Squirtle, but yeah, I think that's something I would I really want to take advantage of in coming into this year, especially when I do my one-off pieces of content. I want to try that strategy of like maybe switching up the title a little bit, or maybe you know you know switching up the thumbnail slightly, and, and seeing how that plays a role into the 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 algorithm and all this other stuff and obviously you know you got to play to the algorithm you got to play to youtube youtube's rules you got to play this there's, there's so many like crazy factors 
into what goes into, I guess, a, a good YouTuber, if you will. I don't know, why, why, why did this come up? Like, what, like, what brought this topic up? I have, I don't even remember what the original topic was that kind of inspired this rant. Um, I think I was just talking about my, my creative process anyway. Um, but, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of stuff, a lot of changes this year. So I, I hope you guys stick with me. And those of you who, you know, want to bounce, I'm okay with that as well. Um, I hope you have a great life. You have a, a great journey on wherever you, you go next. Um, but for those who are going to stick around and, and see what I have to bring, I, you know, I just want to say I greatly appreciate all of you. I, I mean, I greatly, appreciate, I greatly appreciate all of you anyway if you do decide to leave. It, 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 at the end of the day, I have a great appreciation for every subscriber I have, and I am very grateful for them. I mean, it's taking me five years to get 461 of you, and it's going to take me another five years to get a million. So we're gonna we're gonna do this, and we're we're gonna smash it out of the park, and we're gonna freaking kill this. We're gonna kill this goal. And for those of you who are wondering what I'm talking about, you can go ahead and go to the Discord. I made an announcement, link in the description, about this um, five-year challenge. I haven't really spoken much about it since um, since I've announced it. Um, I, I I don't know how to how to go about this and how I should go about this. But again, I set a goal for myself: five years, one million subs. To the day, if I do not have one million subs to the day, I have there's a punishment that I have to do, and that that's the final, right? And that's the day that I keep bringing up. January 25th, 2027. It's exactly 200 and something weeks away. And we're going to smash it. We're going to kill it. And it's going to be great. Right? We're going to be great. Right? So everything is going to fall into place. We're going to make great content. We're going to kill the game. We're going to have everything that we need. And I'm going to learn everything that we need. And all I'm going to need you guys to do is just support me and my journey or our, not, not just me but our journey together it isn't just about me it's also about you guys too and it's about us creating a family uh, a, a tribe if you will of lovely wonderful people you know hit that subscribe button We're, we've already got 460 460 to 461 the number keeps bouncing which is, I, I find weird it bounces by one which is so weird to me but it, it is what it is. You guys, we're gonna we're gonna really need you guys. I'm gonna really need you guys to like share out the videos, you know, leave a like on the video, comment, comment feedback, anything. You know, you can comment dicks if you want. Just comment something. I mean, feedback would be preferred, but if you wanna comment, you know, an eight with like 50 equals and a D, you're more than welcome to do that. I mean, feel free. Um, but it's just like, hit that subscribe button, share with a friend, you know, we're gonna, we're in this for the long haul. Five years is a long time. I, I do, I, I am gonna say that five years is a long time, but we've got this. And you know what, we're gonna look back on this video and we're gonna be like, wow, things have changed so much in the past five years. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. And it's also gonna be emotional, like looking back at this time period, and be like, wow, like, I really said that, and, and like, like, what if it does happen? Like, what if we do hit over a million subs in, like, like, it's, let's say we do it in four and a half years. It's, it's really gonna be like, wow. You know what I mean? Um, you know, here's the thing, too. I, I, I was writing a, a, a good morning text this morning, and I usually do, like, a quote of the day kind of thing. And there was a quote that I had found that came from Theodore Roosevelt, Roosevelt is... If you believe you can, you're halfway there, which I've always believed that I would be a top creator and uh, I would have over a million subs. And you know, this is this is the time. This is the time that I'm really gonna step my foot down and say, you know what, we got this. We can do this. We can do this as a as a family, as a tribe. We, we can do this together. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of like one of those things. Anyway. Now that I've got that off my chest, because I've been wanting to talk about this for so long, and I'm probably going to make a separate dedicated video, and you know what would be interesting? I should do what Mr. Beast did. I have an idea. I just have, I just had an idea. 
Oh my god. I just had an idea. Like, what if I do what Mr. Beast did? Like, I filmed just like a, a general video of myself talking about the goal and stuff. Like, like, like a time capsule video that's scheduled to go live on the day. That would be interesting. That would be interesting to see how that. Oh, that would be good. That would be good, wouldn't it? Interesting. I don't know why I just thought about that, but it's quite interesting that it just came to my head. And and obviously, obviously, we were talking about Mr. Beast earlier, but and and, and there was a podcast. I think it was on Logan's Impulsive podcast where he talks about one YouTuber isn't better than seven YouTubers or something like one YouTuber isn't better than a group of YouTubers. And here's why: because one YouTuber, you have to learn all the mistakes by yourself. Versus a group of YouTubers, a group of people doing the same thing is much more likely to succeed because of the factor you're all learning at the same time and you all learn the mistakes and then you all teach each other so the others don't make the same mistake and then you all grow together as a circle versus if you're if you, you're one person you 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 really don't have that 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 circle or that that information which makes sense right it really does make sense in, in, in terms of that, but I have so many ideas. You guys have no idea. Like, for example, uh, I've talked about this already before. Like, my racing idea. Like, I'm going full blown. Like, I'm building a sim rig. Um, I'm going to be building a sim rig. And I'm going to go so far as to buy motorcycle clothes and helmet to wear during the racing streams and racing content. Like, I'm gonna be in a full motorcycle, like, full motorcycle gear, full helmet, like, everything. Like, putting on a, I guess you could say a character, right? Because Dr. Disrespect d does that. He's, I mean, does that, quote-unquote. But, um, yeah, no, no, I, I'm not, I, like, okay, hold on. I'm not a huge Dr. Disrespect respect fan, but I can still respect him, alright? I'm not that... I'm not into that type of content. That content kind of makes me uncomfortable a, a little bit. But at the same time, I still respect the dude, right? I think his I, 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 even though it makes me uncomfortable, it's still, in another person's eye, great content, right? So I, I, I tend to respect that, right? In, in my eyes, I'm just like, it makes me uncomfortable. I don't know what what it is about it that makes me really uncomfortable, but it really does just make me uncomfortable. So I just kind of like you know, yeah. even though I subscribe to him, which I I, I might unsubscribe. I'm, I'm sorry, Doc. I, I'm just yeah, just the, the content isn't for me. Oh, by the way, there there's a Squirtle. <laughs> you can see I'm taking a picture because it's literally the wrong freaking gender. Wrong gender. I've run into like 50 damn Squirtles. In this in this time period of like two hours, and it took me two hours and fifteen minutes to find one female dang squirrel, one dang female squirrel, and it was so obnoxious. It was unbelievably obnoxious. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I digress with the whole Doctor Disrespect thing. Um, but yeah, man. Pokemon Emerald Kaizo, super excited. I have so many ideas with this with this uh, ROM hack, so many crazy content ideas with it. Um, and yeah, and I'm I'm really excited to uh, to be kind of making content again. I mean, I say kind of because it's not what I want. I mean, I want to be able to full send content every day, left, right, center. You know what I mean? But obviously, don't really have the uh, tools and ability to do that right now. So yeah. That's that's what it's that's what it comes down to, and, and honestly, it also comes down to when when I still when I am making content full time again, as I'm working a full time job and streaming, it really is going to come down to how I schedule my day and how I you know how I do my time and stuff. You know, it, two days might be for recording. I might do like an hour and a half and an hour and a half of recording, 
and then do some streaming and then do some more recording afterwards after stream kind of thing like that because obviously you know I'm hoping to get morning shifts so that way I can I can you know go in at like 4 in the morning till 12 and then come home record for an hour and a half from 1 to 2.30 or 1 to, to 3 o'clock stream from 3 to 6 and then be able to take the, the rest of the day to, to work on one-off projects one-off videos and stuff like that and do other stuff as well because um, that would be that would be ideal in an ideal situation um, but we'll kind of just again I'm gonna have to play it by ear play it by by eye as well and, and see like what they give me for for hours hopefully it's not going to be too crazy hopefully I can get mornings in out and then go home do what I gotta do for the rest of the day um, and, I, and at that point, I'm just gonna have no life. I'm, I'm literally gonna have no life outside of outside of work, um, and and that's obviously the sacrifice that I'm willing to take. To you know, life is all about sacrificing things. Um, if you want success, you have to sacrifice things. Like it, it, it is what it is. It, it's how it is and how it will be for the rest of eternity. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just like now at this point getting very frustrated with uh you know that's the second or that's like the eighth freaking male squirtle i've found that isn't a female that's it, it, yeah it's, it's driving me crazy at this point i'm actually hard gripping my phone at this point in time because i'm so sick of finding male squirtles and not finding the one thing i wanted one it was one i just wanted one female squirtle and, like, imagine if I had actually, like, killed it, I would have, oh my god, my phone wouldn't be in existence. I would Thanos snap it so fast, uh, it's not even funny, I would Thanos snap it out of existence so damn fast. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately, it is getting to that point where, uh, I should be wrapping up today's episode, because, I mean, there's nothing left of footage anyway, except for encounters. So, with that being said, do me a huge favor, leave a like on the video, hit the subscribe button, ding dong that notification bell, become a part of the Hunters Tribe. Again, we're on our way to 500 subscribers. We're almost there at 461 or 460, you know, just 30 more. We can do it by the end of the month. I believe we can. Share this video with a friend, join the Discord, all of that is linked in the description down below. As always, guys, I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. Till next time.